welcome to my first vlog. It's currently Friday, January 12th, I believe. Yeah, it's Friday the 12th. And yesterday was the Capricorn New Moon. I wasn't home for it. I was over at my boyfriend's taking care of him because he's feeling a little sick. So I was like, you know, bringing him some medicine. We watched some movies together, just, you know, had a chill night. And it was nice, it was fun. And I did get a bit of journaling in, but I want to get a couple more things done. You know, just a lot of uh, intention setting for this Capricorn new moon and just have like a bit of a self-care night because it's Friday. They have the lady, they have Venus Aphrodite, they have Freya, like, why not? Speaking of that, I actually have a poster that's supposed to be right here. And it's actually the birth of Venus, like the painting, but it keeps falling down. So I'm going to be putting that back up. Gonna get into some journaling and tension setting for the year. And yeah, this is gonna be lots of fun. I hope you guys stick around to see what I do. Also, I was gonna go out for a nice party. My friend lives across campus, but as you can see, I will not be walking across campus in this. It's like storming out, it's super windy. Can barely even see out my window, so that won't be happening. Put up my poster, looking very slay. Just a little quick appreciation for my posters. I love them so very much. You can't really see this one. Yes. I love my little corner. So something that I have been doing recently is actually doing all my journaling in Notion and doing it on my computer. It honestly helps me just get used to using Notion to take like my notes for class and such. Also, I just sometimes waste like my money by buying notebooks that I never end up filling. So I'm just going to be doing all my journaling in here and I will show you guys my template for my new moon and full moon, you know, all my stuff. So I made this on my iPad, but it looks pretty cute on the desktop. And I have a section for new moons, waxing moons, full moons, and waning moons. And I already have a little section for 2024. And I already did some stuff for the Capricorn new moon. The Capricorn new moon is all about the great father and supporting yourself and having your goals and making actionable plans that you can put into place to reach those goals. The great father to me is a supporter, the masculine energy of rigidity and stability and being a support really uh like a father would be and i think that for the capricorn new moon we can all ask ourselves how can we be a uh, father to ourselves I just wanted to come on here and talk about a conversation that my boyfriend and I are having and it's just about actually knowing yourself and knowing if you are a good person knowing about God's intentions what God would say is good or bad to me I think good and bad is very human uh, the one example I always think of is was the comet that killed the dinosaurs was that good or bad it just was you know what I mean because if there were still dinosaurs roaming around say the comet never hit we wouldn't exist humans wouldn't exist or maybe they would but in a different way like evolved dinosaurs or something so good or bad is a human concept and i think that as humans we should stick to it because there are things that are object objectively bad like murder like killing somebody else for your own gain that's bad to me but then i thought would god punish in the idea of like the uh abrahamic god would he punish a lion that kills another lion because he wants to become alpha 
the same way he would punish another human for killing another human because they also want power. So I was just thinking about that. Obviously, I think murder is bad. I think most people do. But what we as a society and as humanity deem as bad, I feel always comes back to not looking out for one another and not serving our common man or woman or person. So yeah, I think that good and bad are very human. And I think that we made up good and bad for a good reason. You could be good because you think it's good. And you could be good because you just instinctively are good because you want to see the betterment of humanity. I don't know. Something we were talking about. Well, that was really all over the place, but yeah. Okay. I have done my skincare routine. I am in bed and I'm going to sleep. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Hi guys, so it is currently like 4.30 on Saturday and I just watched the movie Hot Chick with, what's his name, Rob Schneider I think is how you say it. I've never seen it before, I've seen like clips and stuff but I never actually watched it. It was very funny. My roommate, she just had a meeting so I went to the common room and some of my friends uh, from my dorm were in there and they were like, just come watch with us and I was like, okay. Oh my god, it was so funny. <laughs> It was really nice because I don't always hang out with people that are in my building but they're so cool and they're so nice and we were all just laughing at this stupid movie. Now I'm gonna go and make some food. I actually went shopping today. So I will be making my best. I love this taboki so much. I'll show you guys how I make it because it just tastes so good. I'm gonna get some rest. Today is a reset day because it's Sunday, so I'm gonna take things really slow, do some laundry, clean my room, and get ready for the next school week coming up. I don't think I slept very well. I went to sleep very late because we were helping a friend get home. But last night was super fun. Super great party. I haven't been to a house party in a very long time. Talk to you guys soon. I slept all day. It is now 7.30 and I woke up about an hour ago. And I was really debating just going back to sleep to be honest. But I need to eat. I need to get some dinner. And I want to clean up my room before my week ahead. I'm gonna probably go get a veggie burger. I kind of want to feast. Like, I kind of want to... Like... Alright. Let's go. And we are going to just, like, figure it out. <laughs> All 
All right, so my burger was actually really spicy, and I know I said I was gonna feast, but I think I was just thinking when I was very hungry. I got very bloated from that burger. It was very spicy, a lot spicier than I remember. I have stomach issues, so I get bloated really easily, and it's like painful, so I'm good, I'm good. I'm gonna finish these fries and maybe do some laundry but i have enough clothes for the week we'll see how i'm feeling i honestly have not been this tired after a party in a long time uh, and it wasn't like hangover or anything i had one beer and like a couple shots reset day was not too successful but uh maybe i can get in a little cleaning montage for you guys before i end off this video I actually decided to do my nails because I have a, a gospel concert. I'm in my school's gospel choir. And for our wardrobe for all of our shows, we wear all black and a pop of red. So I'm just gonna paint my nails this red color because I love red nails so much. So I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so they don't look the best, but I'm going to wash my hands as soon as this is fully dry and that will get rid of the excess around my nails. And I still have to do my other hand, but yeah, it's red. So the last thing that I like to do when I'm cleaning up my room is just obviously take out the trash. I forgot to put it in the trash bag uh, when I came back from break. So I went and go I went to go buy them. I could only get larges. It's fine. I really don't care. Tomorrow's Monday, so the garbage is gonna be taken from the garbage room. Still don't have a lot of recycling in there, so I'm literally just gonna put a new bag into the garbage bin, and then I'm gonna start heading to bed. With that Birth of Venus poster that I wanted to put back up that fell down. It fell down again uh, when I was sleeping a couple nights ago, so it's not going back up for a while. All right, I'm just gonna go take a quick shower and I will show you guys my little nighttime skincare routine. And then we're gonna close out this video.
right, so that's gonna be it for this weekend in my life vlog. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, you can give this video a thumbs up and you can leave a comment if you'd like. And if you like this content, then you can go ahead and subscribe because I have a lot of stuff coming in the future and I'm super, super excited for it. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I am grateful for you just for being, just existing is enough. You are enough just because you're a human being, just because you're alive on this earth. And I'm grateful for you for watching this whole video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.